Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I want to show you some really fun ways to use this self-adhesive felt. So these are sheets of felt and they've all got a um, sticky coating on the back. So once you peel this off, then that's you know they're ready to stick down on whatever you want really. So these are by Arteza. So this is another one of the products that I got to choose. And the reason I wanted to get these is I want to create some really fun bunting and I want forever bunting so I want it to to be more of a fabric so that it's something I can use and take away so I'm actually going away with a group of my close girlfriends from school and we're staying in a barn and I thought it'd be quite nice because it's the kind of thing I like to do but I thought I'd decorate a few areas so I'm going to create with you today some bunting that I'm going to take and also I have been able to create some cards so I'm going to show you two card styles that I've made once I show you what you can do with these and it's just a really nice fun thing to have in your craft stash because it's a different texture it's a different material so it's nice to add this to our paper craft so it just kind of enhances that even more so you get this sheet on top here which has just got an overview of the colours which is pretty standard for the Arteza packaging they're really good at giving you an overview of what you get and the reason I went for it and again you know their, their website doesn't lie it is what it is you see all these colours and that's exactly what you get just look at the vibrancy and it even says that 30 vibrant colours and my god they are so these are your I guess fluorescents that one not so much I'd say that's more fluorescent well anyway you've got the three fluorescents there actually yeah I'm going to bring in that orange so I can keep them together because I think that's pretty so that's pretty much the same there is a slight tonal difference that is it's coming up a little bit darker and it is but I'll just put them together anyway but this is I've just kind of moved the order slightly of how they come but if I just lay these down there you have an overview of all of those beautiful beautiful colors okay so let me just pop them to one side so I've already there is another color as well but I've already started cutting into that so I'll bring it in now in case any of you are thinking hmm it needs a really nice bright yellow you get one so <laughs> this is what I've started to cut and this is to start my bunting so what I want to create is some bunting where it's just lots of circles and they're going to be stuck back to back like so with string running through the middle. And I had something similar before in my old place but it was made out of quite thin paper. It was all, it was one of those ones that you kind of pulled out from a, like a concertina style. It didn't have a lot of, you know, a long shelf life so it just ended up going in the bin. But I did think that would be nice to recreate again but in a more durable material and this is definitely going to hold up. So what I've done is I'm just going to cut strips of the size circle that I'm using. Now I would say when you're cutting the felt just use a simple plain die. Try not to get anything too decorative in terms of like the detail being too tight together because you're not really going to see it if it's quite a, a simple design then you that would probably be okay but if you want to cut a, a shape I wouldn't use like a stitched die for example because you're not going to see the detail and it might just make your die machine work that little bit more so this is just a simple plain x cut die that I've got here and I'm just cutting strips to the width of that so I'm going to cut two more strips because I need a little bit more of the yellow for another project idea that I'm going to show with you. So I should be able to get, yeah, so that's perfect. So I can get three strips there and that's going to be saved for something else. And you can see there how I've been running it through my die machine because I didn't want to have to bring my big die machine onto my desk so I can just use my handy mini one here. And just to show you just how easily this does cut I just kind of worked my way from the top down. There we go. Look how great that cuts. So again, just line that up on there and cut them. So yeah, okay, it would be great for what I want if it did go through a punch because I'm now going to die cut a lot of circles, but it cuts so easily and I'm quite excited to create this little piece of like home decor that I don't mind so yeah if you've got the patience like me because I do have the patience of a saint apparently and yes this is going to be a really really fun thing to do and you don't have to make it as long as I am it's just I want a lot because I want to be able to decorate places for like parties but also have it in my craft room as well so 
I like colour, so I'm having literally multicolours. So if you want to just do, for example, if you want to decorate a themed coloured party, then, for example, a baby shower, then, yeah, if you know that the baby is going to be a boy or that person wanted a specific colour, then you can do that by all means. And you can also die cut any shape. I think this would also look really nice in maybe a star shape and you could decorate the baby's nursery or you could you know have a classroom if you're a teacher you could do some really fun die cut numbers and have like a number kind of banner hanging somewhere but because they are self adhesive you can stick these anywhere so I think they are brilliant <laughs> I really do and because it's working for the idea that I had in mind yeah I'm really pleased with how this is um turning out and I'm also reading the top there it says strong adhesive it says reusable I'm not sure in terms of what it means by reusable. I mean, if I stuck it, does it mean I can unstick it and then it will stick again? And it says ideal for craft projects. So I will check that out. Let's have a little look here because I can just peel off the backing. It's pretty easy to peel off because it's really stuck in there. Now they're going to stick together perfectly. I can already feel that. But let's just see. I mean, I'm just sticking it on my mat just to give you an idea of how well that sticks down. Yeah, that's pretty strong. I mean, that's on plastic, but you can it's got quite a pull on it. So, that's going to stick to paper really well. And like I said, I'm sticking mine actually together, so they're going to be perfect. So, I am now going to go through all the colors I want to use and I'm going to get piles of my circles because obviously, I don't know even if I'm going to have the same color on the opposite side. I might have a pink on that side, but I'm going to go and do piles of 12. So, that's going to give me a lot of circles that so should be, give me quite a nice long length of bunting. I'm going to get that one die cut, add to my little pile here and I'm going to die cut a load more colours and then I'm going to start putting my little bunting together and also I will have the card to show you because you don't, you'll, once you see the card ideas that I've got they're very easy to do, I don't need to talk you through that step by step, it's just really to give you inspiration. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I have just gone and cut one, two, three, four, five, six of the A4 sheets. So you can see the colours that I've chosen here. This may be enough, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to show you as well. I did, after I started cutting whatever the first one was that I'd done, I thought, oh, I've got my Cricut machine. I'm sure that can cut the felt. And it does cut it, however... I don't have, I don't think I've got the right blade for it. I think I need the deep blade or something like that. Those of you that follow me, you know that I'm very new to the Cricut. I've not had it very long. But it has cut it, but I don't know how well you can see. It's it's not, that's the beauty of a die. That's one thing that you don't get from a cutting machine is what the die does. It kind of seals and like bonds everything on the edge. You get a really nice compact kind of finish. So yeah, it's not as neat, but I think it would be better, obviously, if I had the right blade. So so all my settings were correct for it and everything but yeah and it's kept all the backing see it's cut the backs there and stuff but it's not perfect however I think once the you won't see that white because that's just your backing paper once you take that off it's just clear adhesive so, yeah I just thought I'd point that out in case any of you were wondering so I've just got my baker's twine here I'm going to keep it on the spool there just so I you know until I decide how long I want this and I'm going to keep quite a bit at this end because obviously when I tie it to something I want there to be enough excess so I'm going to start mine about here and basically I mean it's the first time I'm doing this so I'm just going to remove the backing from this and it's all the white so you just want to make sure you're peeling all of the white off I recently cut back my nails so it's a bit difficult there we go so it comes off still keeps its shape which is good and then I'm going to stick this one underneath think once I get a kind of a system going with this and now I don't know whether I want I think I am going to keep the same colors I know I said before I think I was going to do different but I want to keep like an order so I think by doing it this way it's going to be easier if I stick to the same color so then I'm just going to marry it up with its color underneath pick it up it's a bit easier and then all of your adhesive completely and it works disappears look Oh, I'm so pleased it works. That's exactly what I want to do. So now I'm going to move on. Is that the order I want them? I think I'm going to change my order up a little bit. I think I'm going to do maybe that. I think I like that order. So now I'm going to take this one. So I'm basically going to go along now and see how long I can get my 
kind of string, my bunting. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to introduce any colours. I think what will happen is if I feel I want it longer, I will order some more felt because this is definitely something that I am going to, you know, go to a lot. I think it's really, like I said, it's a really nice addition to have in your craft stash. So I'm butting my circles right up. You don't have to. You can leave a little gap if you want. But they actually become quite strong. That glue in between, you know, almost stiffens them and keeps them their shape. But look, how cute are they? Really, really fun. So I'm going to carry on now. I'm going to put the rest of my movie on and I'm going to stick all of this down. Okay, so here is my lovely bunting, my polka dot bunting, and I love it. So I've doubled it up, so there's the looped end there, and it goes all the way along, and here is the end here. So, yeah, that would easily fit in a window, along like the top of the window, so I may well put that up in my craft room, so I think that's going to look really cool. But like I said, I am going to take it away just at the weekend, just to add a little bit of decoration. I'm probably going to do a few other ones as well. But this is using the whole A4 pink, yellow, blue, purple, green and orange. And you can see the blue there, once they're stuck together, they're a little bit more fluffy around the edges to the others, but once it's all together you can't notice that at all. And just looking at my monitor, I mean it may well come out better once I edit the video, but these colours are really vibrant, more vibrant in real life than they are coming through on my monitor, so hopefully that will show up better, like I said, once you see the video. Yeah, really really pleased with how this has turned out. So next, so that's the, the one idea. Then I have started to do some other bits and pieces. So I will add in now a quick video of me colouring my current favourite die set, which is the Daisy May Peony Bloom die set and matching stamp set, which is here. And I featured this already in the Arteza video when I was using the Everblend markers. So I've used them again, but I'm just gonna edit that in now. It's just a quick couple of minutes. Okay, so you would have just seen me create this and what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut a slit above the lip of the mason jar and just below it so that I can slide this in so you have that piece going over it and I just thought it made it look a little bit more authentic but then I'm kind of debating now whether to add the bow or not because kind of when you put it on there now you don't notice it but I don't know we'll see I quite like it without but anyway the next thing is die cutting your felt and they die cut beautifully so I've just used this leaf one again I would stick with something quite block in terms of its outline you don't want anything too detailed because I just don't think you're going to see it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down and also what I've done here is just die cut some larger flowers layered them on top of each other popped a little diamond in the middle hole punch stuck it onto card and just fussy cut so I've got a little border and you've got really nice gift tags how lovely are they just to kind of finish off any you know, gift bags and gift boxes that you've got, and I thought this will look lovely in red, and you could do poinsettia flowers for Christmas presents. I thought that'd look really nice, and also you could do holly and everything. If you use the felt, it just adds a really, really nice texture to your project, so you will see that featuring over Christmas. Okay, so with this one here, I want to get it stuck down, so I'm just going to stick some foam onto... Oh, that's not come out very well. So I'm happy with where it is there. So I'm going to stick a couple on the back there. Okay, and then just to keep that in place, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just under there just to tack that down. 
Okay, so now that's on the foam, it's lifted off, and now I can kind of feed in some of these behind. So I've done my green colouring, similar colours to these leaves, and I just want to kind of fill up the white area. I've done two tones, so I've got a lighter tone green there, and I've got a darker tone. So this one here I'm going to stick there on the top, because this is the decoupage part, which goes over the top there. And then I can have another piece kind of coming underneath like so, something like that, and I think it looks really good, it starts to really make it look quite real, so now I'm just going to bring that in, just hold it and just look, I think it looks quite nice without, I think I think I might have my sentiment there, like happy birthday or thinking of you or something like that, but I actually quite like that arrangement, so I'm going to get this stuck down, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the top one off, Okay, so if I bring that up, can you see now you've got that texture? I just think it looks really cool. I just absolutely adore this stamp and die set anyway, and I will link everything below as always. But it's just really fun. So yeah, I mean you can do this as anything. The flowers can be felt, you know, the, the jar here could be felt. So there's so many ways to incorporate it into your paper craft, but I do like doing the leaves because I just think it's nice to have them with some texture. So that is my card idea. I'll finish it off with a sentiment and you'll see all that in the photos at the end. And that, like I said, I was just playing around with some dyes, but I really like how that's come out. It's a really nice size tag. And um, yeah, you can, like I said, imagine that at Christmas time. I think it's going to look gorgeous. Now I'm going to do one more card to show you. Okay, so these are all of the things that I've made. I'm really, really pleased with it. I think working with this felt's been really fun. So one thing I just want to quickly mention is when I was doing this card, I was looking at it and I thought something just didn't seem right. And what it was is I needed to colour the white around the bottoms of the stems that were in the water. So if you do look back on the video, you'll see it looked like it was just coming out of the... Um, the jar it didn't look right so I just went and coloured all the white that was around the stems and I also where the black line is here I just continued it over the top of the stems here and it just now looks like the the stems are actually in the water so I just think it looks a lot better so love that card I think it's turned out lovely I don't know what I'm going to put there so that's why I've left it without the sentiment for now because sometimes it's quite handy to just leave the cards blank until you know because that will work for quite a few occasions I think this one I love so this is for as you can tell for someone's first birthday um this isn't my idea I've seen this on Pinterest for a long long time but I hadn't seen it in felt and I thought it would look really good in felt and because it die cuts so beautifully and it's obviously self-adhesive, it's turned out I think really quite well. So I'm hoping that they're going to really like that card. And then these are little Christmas decorations and I thought they're so cute. So I just die cut two stars and just stuck them together. So it's, it's just really nice to feel. And then I die cut one of my letters there. So I just personalised it. But the other nice thing about this is, is if you like to send happy mail at Christmas time or just any time during the year, year, year really but I thought this would be nice to send a Christmas present to someone because it weighs nothing it is so lightweight and it's completely flat but I think it looks really sweet so now if you imagine you pop that in the envelope I mean look, you can see it's very very little bulk so I thought that was a great idea also I think if you die cut lots of stars you could have star bunting you could have Merry Christmas spell out across them these are just again great things for craft fairs They're so lightweight and easy again for you to post if you've got an Etsy shop and things like that so yeah and then the little gift tag that I've got there as well but I love my bunting I can't wait to put that up I think it's just awesome and um, I love it all really I just think it's got a, such a good use now and I'm glad I've been able to really play with it and as you do more kind of ideas will come to mind I think and um, yeah I think you'll really enjoy it so I do encourage you to get it I think it's brilliant and it is definitely a good extra to have in your stash so yeah as always I'll share all the links below I'll share the links for the Daisy May stamp set because I know a few of you like that when I last used it and it is great. I, like I said, it's one of my favourites at the moment. I will share the links also for, obviously, the Arteza felt. Also the Everblend pens as well that I've used. A few, a few more people have been asking about that. And I'll share the links to that video as well where I talk in more detail about how to do a really simple blending kind of process to get that effect. So I'll share that as well. And you will get a 10% coupon code just in the video description below as well. So you can use that. On, on anything across the Arteza website. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.